Okay, so we're gonna walk through the IA slash structure slash organizing slash whatever it's gonna be called section to see how it might work. Yeah? Yeah. So this is the very first page. If we land on it for the very first time, we land on the page view, we get a little instruction that says choose a template or make your own from pages a little instructional video of maybe two minutes or so mm -hmm. that would run you through how it works because it is a little bit complicated maybe Just there's a different. few things there's a few yeah. things you need to learn to do this and over here we've got our palette of templates which it would default to and pages underneath it and a whole range of different represented templates down here so we're going to build a site for um, a small company that has a home page and about us page, a Some products. products page and a contact us page. Yep. And we want to add a team page to the about section. Yep. That's it. Of the templated version. Okay, so how are we going to do this, Mark? So, first of all, we have a look down here mm -hmm. in our templates. We see the brochure template site pretty much fits our needs. Mm -hmm. It's got a home page about products and a contact page. Okay. So we drag this over here into our workspace, uh -huh. for want of a better word. Let's call it our workspace. And then we get this. I think I need to stand on the chair. Yeah, yeah I think so. <laughs> Quite a lot. Oh. Careful up there, health and safety. Sorry. <laughs> so we've got all Birds the... Birds over Oh, all the bits and pieces on here. So what happens is we've dragged this on here and it populates this grid mm -hmm. with all the various different pages we talked about. Mm -hmm. So from the top, just going through the pages, home, second row, about, product list, contact us. And then under there, we've got a child products. All our products live under here. Mm -hmm. And we've got a thank you page for our contact us form. We're still on templates over We're here. We're still on templates. Okay, then. We've got a bunch of tools. It's probably worth just speaking through these. We're in our. Uh, we're in. Uh, what's this view? This called? is page view. Page view. Yeah. Oh, there. We're yeah. in page view at the moment. Yeah. We've also got outline view, which would uh, kind of be like a tree structure, um, navigation, and terms and categories. And we're going to ignore those for ignore those for a while. And then we've got a bunch of tools: undo, save as template, and lock. And then we've got. A little Google Maps esque slider, which a, would a zoomer, zoomer, which would zoom in and out as the site, you know, got bigger or smaller or whatever. And we've got our pink pipes that represent navigational links. Yes. Yeah. Yep. That's pretty much everything. Okay. On there. So let's play with some tasks. Let's start with the very first one, which is to say, how would I add a page that would list all of the members of my team under my about section. So we go over to our palette here. Let's clear this from the We click pages. Mm -hmm. And this is our view for pages. So at the top we've got our most popular and all the different page types. So lists, content, homepage, forms, wikis. Uh, product catalog. Some of these have stacked, so the pages below them as well. So product catalog has a product page with it. A form may have a, a confirmation page beneath it. Mm -hmm. So we want to find one that matches what we need, which is a list page, which is non-dynamic. We would just want to list our team bios. Mm -hmm. So we click on that and we drag it over to our grid. Mm -hmm. Underneath about, we maybe drag it onto uh, about. onto about because we want to create a link between yeah, we the want two. Yeah, we want to make a child. Yeah, we want That's to make right. a child. We want to make a child. <laughs> so we drop it on about. Yep. And boing boing, there it goes, and we've got a little pink thing in between because we dropped it on about, so it creates the. Link. So if I wanted to create another page under about, how would I do that? 
we'd do the same thing, wouldn't we? Yep. We'd go to whatever page yep. we wanted. Uh huh. So say list view views. Yep. We drag it onto about. Uh -huh. Then we get another page uh, with the link. Excellent. Okay, let's get rid of that for now. That was just a little bit of a... Keep me on my toes. Keep you on your toes. <laughs> I, I was thinking about this earlier, Mark. I haven't sort of given you any preparation on this yet, but if we wanted to remove that, then I was thinking what we do is you could actually click on that pink thing and maybe you get a little... So remove the connection between them. Delete the connection thing and you could select that and that would get rid of the collection. Collection. Connection. connection. So, so that would be kind of be a bit of floaty. Then, yeah, really yeah. Associated with any section. We don't want to lock people into having to have hierarchical relationships all the way through their sites because that's less and less the case these days, isn't it? We're still yeah. flipping up. Okay, so that's adding a new child. Yeah. That's. Then if I okay, so if I wanted to go and customize the content that was going on that page, what would I do? We'd have to draw another page. <laughs> but the, we'd, the we'd, click on that, we'd click on that. Yeah. We'd get a. Uh, yeah, maybe here's, here's one we kind of prepared uh, earlier. Yeah, okay. Is that kind of like it? It's kind of like it, yeah. So we'd get a page, which would be the one that we've dragged over, which would be this list. It would have all the various blocks. Nice little one. Yeah, so it'd be like that. And then you'd be able to... They, you'd be able to edit the blocks, mm. move the blocks around. Mm. Or you'd be able to completely delete the page mm. from there. Mm. Excellent, okay. So if I wanted to change the arrangement of content on my home page... Yep. I could... Click on home page. Yeah. You'd get something kind something of like, like that. that. So you wanted to swap these two around or whatever. You wanted to change that one with the position yeah. of that one. Yeah. Click, you get your thing. Yeah. Drag and drop your blocks to yeah. move them around. Save it, done. Save it, done. Back to here. Back to there. Away we go. What if my um, my site was really much more complicated than this one and I had eight or nine subsections? So you'd click on your little scroller mm -hmm. and you'd go towards the minus. Yep. As you go towards the minus, you you'd shrink. go straight up. Kind of like Google Maps. Yeah. Uh, that's it? Yeah. You'd be and able you'd to see Move. Um, you will be able to move yeah, up and drag down and, draw, and forwards and backwards to the bit that yeah, you're drag interested. Drag to where you want to go, and then if you wanted to, obviously, if you've got a huge site mm. with a bazillion pages, it's going to be really difficult to interact with it at that mm. level. So mm. you find out where you want it to be, mm. you'd zoom in, and then you'd click uh, mm. and drag and whatnot. Mm. But we're mostly dealing with content types here, aren't we? So if I there's there's my product template. Mm. But if I had mm. 50 products, oh, then yeah, it would just I, all be... I would go into find content. Find content, yeah. 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 I wouldn't. I would. This is this isn't for editing product by product by product. No, this no, is no. For looking at the structure of the content type of a product. Yes. Okay. Absolutely. Anything else? Okay. So what if I wanted to remove the contact us section? How would I do that? So you'd. Click mm -hmm. on contact us, you'd get a thing that mm -hmm. popped up, and you'd click there'd be a little trash can or something yeah. up here. You'd click that, then you'd get a dialogue saying, Hang on a sec, you've got thank you page underneath it as a child that contact us. Yeah. Do you want to delete this because you've got this underneath it as well? Mm -hmm. So, for example, if you wanted to delete the product list page for whatever crazy reason, uh, you'd get the same thing, and if there are 70 odd products, mm. or a, then a one content type, isn't mm. it? We're not dealing with content, we're dealing with content types. Yeah. So you have this content type under products, it would say. If you delete this parent, you're going to delete this as well. Okay. Or maybe it gave you the option of deleting it or just leaving it floaty with no association. Mm. So maybe it's actually deleting. It's, it's more about this pink thing yeah. than it is about this. Yeah, I think you might be right. Okay, work yet to do, but that's the concept as it stands right now.